Hello friends, in this series of tutorial we are going to learn about the W3F that is a web application audit and attack framework. It mainly used for the scanning of web application and penetration testing. In the backtrack you can access it from this location. It is available in both ways like you can access it on the GUI and console basis. But today we are going to learn the console and it is also downloaded by the it can also be downloaded from the website that is w3af.org so today we see some plugins of the w3af and uh, some simple commands to navigate through so let's type the help and see the available commands so we have several commands available we will first start with the plugins so in plugins we have as you can see we have total nine type of plugins available so all these plugin have some functionality and in this w3af plugins communicate with each other for example i have to say like if the discovery plugins identify and uh, identify the various urls in the application and then it passes the information to the audit plugin now audit plugin will identify vulnerabilities on this particular URLs identified by the discovery plugin and if you want to exploit this particular vulnerabilities it can also be done by the using the exploit command so now let's start with the plugins uh, let's start with the discovery plugin so with the discovery we have several plugins available as you can see there are many plugins available and you can also customize it you can also add your own plugins to the w3f now if you want to check the description of the any of the plugin or usage of the any of the plugin just type the discovery and dsc that stands for the description in the plugin name let me type the web spider so as you can see this is a classical web spider it will extract the url it's like for the crawling purpose you can use it and it also has the three configurable, configurable parameters. So to configure any plugins, you have to type discovery config and the plugin name. And now we are in the configuration mode. So to view the set of list of parameters, you have to type view. So we have three parameters available. Same way, if you want to go back to the previous menu type the back command and now to see the other plugin command plug other discovery plugin type discovery and let's say spider man okay so here we'll see the description of the spider man and let me also see the configuration for the spider man so if I want to change the listen port, I'll say set listen port to 5555. Five, five, five. Okay, you can again verify it. Okay, good. So we can go back and to use this plugin into during your scan you have to type the discovery and the name of the plugin so now to see if this plugin is enabled or not you can type list then plugin name discovery enabled let's enable web spider as well web spider now again we'll go and see discovery enabled okay if you want to remove any of the plugin you can simply do by discovery explanation mark and name of the plugin web spider so now again we'll see now web server will not be there only spider-man is there see you can see the difference earlier there were two plugins enabled spider-man web spider now only spider-man 
if you want to remove like disable all the plugins you can do it by exclamation mark and all now if you see no plugins are enabled so discovery plugin mainly useful for the finding out the information about the application it will extract the urls which can be used for the audit plugin during uh, vulnerability assessment phase so now let's see the audit plugins list of audit plugins available to us so here we can see we have uh, audit plugin can identify many vulnerabilities like xss ldap injection file upload format injection sqli so the same way if you want to enable any of this uh, plugin or you want to see any of the description of the plugin just type the audit name of the plugin let's say xss sorry description and then xss so you can see the plugin is cloud search scripting and it have two configurable parameters available check stored and number of checks now to add it the any of the parameters you can type audit config and the name of the plugin number of checks so here the number of check depicts let's set the amount of number checks to perform for each feasible parameter valid numbers are 1 to 15 like 1 is the lowest one and the 15 is the highest one so let me check change the number of checks to 10 and okay back and let's enable this plugin by audit and name of the plugin so here you can see like audit plugin has some like if you want to identify any particular vulnerability you can do it by enabling any of the plugin now let's see the other plugin that's the grab plugin So we done with the discovery plugin and the audit plugin. We'll also see the practical use and we'll scan the application in the later part of the tutorial. But let's see the grab plugin. So grab plugin mainly used to, uh, it's like a passive scanner of the burp. So it will only uh, track on the request and response. It will only see the request and response passes through and it will identify the different information so let's say for example get mail so get mail will identify if if there are any email accounts available on the website so it will identify that so error 500 so it will identify the 500 pages so to make sure that whenever you are enabling the grab plugin make sure you have also enabled the discovery plugin otherwise this will be of no use it will not be identified anything so let's see the description for the get mails plugin for the grab this mail can be used plugins and are great value when doing a complete penetration test you can also identify different pages like file upload vulnerabilities or you want to identify you can enable uh, like one or more plugin out of this so to enable this plugin let's say get mails list grab enabled so you have this okay so in the next tutorial we'll in the next video we are going to learn about the remaining remaining plugin and we'll see how we can uh, scan the application using the command line as well as from the gui thank you